Hello friends, my name is Sam. If you are new here, if you are not new here, welcome back girl, how are you? How's your day been? Let me know, just I'm really interested in what you're up to. So today I did a first impressions. It's not a full face of first impressions, but it is a lot of face geared stuff. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get into it so recently i needed to purchase some new beauty products because i ran out of my old ones and i kind of want to branch out and i have spoken about this before i usually like ulta better they just have a better reward system and point system and they actually give you money off instead of stupid little samples honestly but I had a gift card for Sephora, so I figured I might as well just shop there. And while I was shopping for just the things I needed, I actually saw that I had a decent amount of points kind of accumulate up where I could actually get a decent amount of things. So this is going to be not a full face of first impressions because I didn't buy a full face, obviously, but it is a bunch of other stuff. And I guess I'll do a disclaimer here. These are sample sizes of things that I got because I don't know about you, but a lot of the stuff that I got, which I will show you, is pretty expensive and I'm not going to buy a full size thing for a video, end up not liking it, and then have spent $50 on one moisturizer. I think that's a little too much for me, but I did get a lot of really good high quality samples, obviously for free. So I figured I might as well make this video because if I end up liking it, I'll definitely get a full size. Maybe you guys can just see from this video if you like it and not have to worry about trying to get a sample or anything. I don't know, just trying to do it for the good of the people, okay? So like I said, this is not a full face, so I will only be showing you the new products or samples that I got. I really hope these things work. And some of these are actually really good sized samples, so I will give Sephora that. But if you shop there, then you also know that you automatically get three free samples at checkout. I will only be showing you six today. Two of the other ones were perfumes, and I tried them, and I do not like them at all. Let's just hop right into it. So the first one that I won't be using on my face right now is the, I think it's Caudalie Serum and it looks like this. It, come, it came in a really good sized sample. So you open it like this. And this is glass, a glass dropper right here. So this is something that I will be using at night as a serum. So I can definitely keep you guys updated on Snapchat or something to see if I like it. Also, I feel like serums are something that you can't really try just once. You really have to use for a while. When you put it on the back of the hand, it has a very milky look and texture. It doesn't smell like anything and it's not sticky at all. It's very, it just seems like a very, very, very light moisturizer. Let me see how much a full size is on Sephora's website. <laughs> okay, so we are shooketh at this point. So I just looked it up on the Sephora website and a full size bottle, which is only an ounce, which is not that much, is $80, $80 the full size one is $80 that's insane yeah yikes but I will let you guys know if I end up liking this I will be using this as a night serum so I will not be putting it on my face right now but just wanted to let you know I did get this and I'll keep you updated so the first thing I'm gonna start out with a lot of these are primer moisturizer type deal and I obviously want to try all of them, so I'm gonna put them all on my face on a daily basis. I most likely will not be using all of these, but you know, we're just gonna try them all. So the first one I think I'm gonna put on my face is Bobbi Brown Extra Illuminating Moisturizer. It's very tiny. It is a sample size, so I can't blame them. Mamma mia. Okay, so I just looked it up. The full size one is $68. So, I better not get roasted in the comments for not being like the other YouTubers that have like so much money and can buy the full size one. This is illuminating. I tried on the back of my hand and it is very, I want to say glowy. It's not very 
dewy, if that makes any sense. Hopefully you'll be able to see it when I put it on. It does have a little bit of a smell to it. Almost like a citrus smell. Okay, so, oh yeah, you can actually really see it. I didn't think it was gonna pick up that much on the camera unless I'm not seeing what I think I'm seeing. It looks really pretty. I, which I've mentioned multiple times if you watch me, am very oily, so I don't really foresee me wearing this one a ton, but I can see me wearing this maybe on a day where I'm not planning on wearing a lot of makeup. Maybe I'm going to the beach or I'm going to the pool or something like that, and I don't wanna put on really makeup at all, or at least makeup where if you went on in the water, it wouldn't wear off and make you look crazy. But if you are dry, I can really see you liking this. It gives you that glow from within, almost like you just got a facial or something. It's just that healthy sheen to your skin. For me, having oily skin, don't see myself wearing this every single day. But if you have drier skin, I can definitely see that. This next product, everyone on the internet and on YouTube, all the beauty gurus lose their mind about. They think it's the holy grail, and it is on the Sephora website. $52 for a full size. I know I'm gonna completely butcher this, but this is the YSL Touchiclot. Oh God, I am so sorry to anyone who absolutely cringed listening to that because me too but it's supposed to be a blur primer there is little specks of gold in there you probably can't tell it comes on this little spatula doodad which actually picks up a bunch of products and i think this is this sample is going to be really good because when i tried on the back of my hand i only put a very tiny bit and it went like halfway up my arm and i was like well, okay then. So let's try this baby out and let's try to blur all of my past regrets. Let's see if it can do that for $52. Okay, so it's on my face. Even the little bits I did was kind of a little too much. Like this really goes so, so, so far. You do not need a lot. I do see the little specks of gold on my face. It's not anything crazy. It doesn't look like a glitter bomb exploded in my face, but I can see them every here and there. It does look very pretty. You know, I guess it is kind of blurring. I'll give it that. I mean, if it's something you really want to splurge on, I do feel like it does work. I feel like it did a really good job. My biggest pores are right here under my eye next to my nose. So I really do think it helps like blur that out. So this is actually one of the primers that I bought consciously that I went to go buy because I heard a bunch of pros and cons about this. This is the Becca Ever Matte poreless primer. This is the mini size. I would have splurged and got the bigger size, but again, I did hear some cons about this, so I wanted to maybe go for the smaller size and see how that worked on my skin first and then maybe purchase the bigger one. I'll wait. So some of the cons that people have said with this is that it's really hard to work with. And I guess I can see why I swatched a little bit on the back of my hand and it is kind of a lot to even get the product out of the tubing. It's that classic lip gloss style tubing. So people were saying that if you just use this in the spots that you really, really need it and not an all over type of face primer, it does work a lot better. It does say to warm a pea size amount in your hands and pat on the areas of concern. I'm really putting a lot of effort into this. Okay, that's like a little less than a pea size amount, but I'm getting kind of nervous. And it says first to warm it up. So we're really gonna give her that and pat which is right here first we'll do section by section although this does seem a little high maintenance i am just so oily that really any help i will take i will say this is almost like so amazing as soon as you really pat it in you can feel it dry and you can feel it almost get like a powdery consistency and it just mattifies immediately. This isn't a wear test, so maybe I'll keep you guys updated. 
that is all I have for the face right now. I'm gonna finish most of my makeup up until the next time I need to use something else that is new, if that makes any sense to you. What is this voice? I don't know. Next, I've been in the market for a good concealer. I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape and I love, I do love it, but it just kind of gets really drying after a while. So I'm looking for something a little more hydrating and I've been in between either wanting to get the NARS Creamy Concealer, which everyone has and raves about, or the Kat Von D Locket concealer. This is only $26 on the website, which is not really that bad. But I'm gonna open up these samples and try to mix them up. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my brand spanking new Real Techniques sponge and just try to blend this in. Gonna add a little more because I really didn't add that much okay so i do like it on camera it's showing up a lot more i guess opaque and ha looks like it has more coverage in person i just don't think it's like doing the job let me put more on maybe i'm just not really getting that much okay so on camera it's showing up again like it has a lot more coverage but i and you guys can kind of still see in the camera right here. I just have really dark like rings. I don't even have completely dark circles. It's just this one rank usually right here. And it's just like not covering that up. And it's creasing really, really fast. I haven't even said it yet. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this one on my skin. It's still kind of making my under, under eyes look like crepey it's not really covering up everything i want it to cover up so i really wanted to like that because i have her locket setting spray but i don't think that's doing it for me so this is another new product that i purposely went to sephora to buy so this is obviously full size and this is the two faced dark chocolate soleil long wear matte bronzer in dark like i said dark chocolate so this is the dark shade so i am a little lighter than normal so i don't want that to sway anyone's opinion of this on me so i'm going to do a very <laughs> light layer of this because i don't want it to look crazy on my skin So I actually really, really, really like this bronzer. It really blended in like a dream and I did not need that much to put on my face. I did not need that much to put on my face. I didn't need to put that much on my face for it to go a long way. So I could definitely see this lasting a really long time. But I do think this came out absolutely beautifully. So I will give it that. I really like this. It does smell like chocolate if you're wondering. The second to last product I have for you guys is a liquid highlighter. This is the Kevin Aquan Celestial Skin Liquid Illuminator. It is in the color Candlelight. I looked on Sephora. The full size product is $52. It is a really pretty golden type. It kind of reminds me of a liquid version of Champagne Pop, which I do know Becca does make. So I looked at the directions that they have for this product on the Sephora website, and you can use it how I use the Bobbi Brown one, really all over your skin, but you also are supposed to be able to use this as a liquid highlighter on the tops of your cheekbones. And it's said to apply it with your fingertips, which I mean makes sense, it's liquidy. So I'm going to take a little bit of this very expensive highlighter. Oh, that might be too much, I don't know. On my fingertip and I'm going to put it on the tops of my cheekbone. It's like not blending out on my nose. So this product is very pretty. You can tell in the light it's very glowy. It's again that Bobbi Brown healthy from within type of glow. So I do 
get the appeal of this if you don't really love a bling I can see you from space you are now contacting alien life forces type of highlight that's the type of highlight I like I think this is kind of just a waste of money you're just not really getting anything too substantial with this it just kind of gives you a little bit it's funny because on camera it picks up a lot more glowy than it really even is in person in person it is just like very 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 subtle so I don't want to spend $52 on a highlighter in general let alone something that barely shows up on my skin but everyone is different so I have one last product which is a lip product so I'm going to do my eyes and I'll be right back my last and final product to try out which I'm actually probably the most excited about because your girl loves lip products so the last product is this bite beauty liquefied lipstick in the color demi glace it's like a dark mauvey purple so this says it's a liquefied lipstick not a liquid lipstick so i don't think it's going to be drying down matte and kiss proof and transfer proof i just think it is what it says it is so the full price for this is 24 dollars, which is not bad So this is such a gorgeous color. Like I said, this is in the color Demi Glace, G-L-A-C-E. It's not glaze with a Z. I love the color. It is glossy. I will say that I usually am not a big glossy lip type of girl, but I do like this. It's not sticky at all like a gloss. So I guess it gives you the sheen without the stick. But it's very thick. It really is like they just took one of their lipsticks and they melted it down. They added some type of glossy sheen to it and then put it in this bottle. It's not particularly my cup of tea. I'm not a big gloss person. So if you are the type of person that generally puts a lip gloss as a topper over your lipsticks, you would probably absolutely love, love, love these products. So I want to thank all of you for watching. I know these were trial sizes and all these other big YouTubers, they have full sizes and everything is wonderful and great. And I dropped like $900 for this one video, but I um, am not insane. <laughs> and I just got a bunch of free samples that I wanted to share with you guys. So I did not spend money on these things, which honestly I'm happy for because I didn't really care for most of them or some I would only use in a very, very specific situation. So it was nice that I didn't spend like $500 on all of this stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe below if you haven't. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see from me next. I always, always, always listen to your comments and I always, always, always film what you want to see because this is all about all of you. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.